Good morning, my fine feathered furry and my human friends. It is a beautiful day here in southern Ontario. We're very close to Windsor and Detroit in a town called Tilbury. It's my day off today. I get to just sit around and do absolutely nothing. It's great. Mostly what I'll be doing is watching movies and working on my YouTube vlogs. That's what I do on my days off. So really I don't get a day off, but it's fun for me, so. We'll be sitting here all day. Diesel's over here, checking out the corn. We got this wide open grass area. Well, I don't know what this is doing right here. We see, they got this nicely mowed grass area right here, right? And then they have this ditch here, right in the middle. And they got more grass area over there. So I don't know what this, Obviously for drainage, I guess. Oh well. And there's a spider web right here. These crazy spiders. That back there would be uh, part of the new Ontario Clean Energy Program. How are you guys liking your new uh, electricity bills? What the Ontario government has done now, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not from Ontario. This is just what I heard. The Ontario government has forced the citizens to buy a certain amount of their hydro from a clean energy, something like that. Now what that does is it increases your hydro. We call it hydro in Canada. Hydro means electricity. Just in case if I say that you think I'm talking about something else. Hydro. It increases your hydro costs significantly, right? So now that people don't have a choice, they are forced to buy a certain amount of their electricity from renewable energy sources. A lot of people can't afford their electricity bills anymore. There's some people that have their electricity bills that are higher than $1,000 a month just for a home. I don't know what your electricity bills are. In Manitoba, we got pretty good electricity rates. We are a, a powerhouse province. That's what Manitoba is known for. We produce electricity. That's one of our major exports. So I pay seven cents per kilowatt hour, which is the lowest in North America from what I've heard. If you have something lower in your area, let me know. I actually just realized how warm it is today. It's hot. I'm, I'm actually kind of sweating in this long sleeve shirt here. It's November. In Canada. Is it always this warm down here by Detroit? I, I'm from up in Manitoba. We've had snow already apparently on this last trip. They got snow while I, while I have been on this trip. But uh, look at this. We still got green leaves on the trees here. Ontario. What's going on, Ontario? If this is global warming, I want some more of it back up in Manitoba, all right? I want it today to be just a complete relaxing day of nothingness. You know, every once in a while, actually as often as I can. Who am I kidding? As often as I can, I just like to plan a day. Plan out my whole day with nothing. What are you gonna do today, Josh? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Those are the best days. But in all reality, once I'm done with my videos and in between movies, I'm probably gonna clean out the inside of my truck at least. You sorta of gotta stay on top of that, especially with a dog in the truck with you. You have to stay on top of cleaning out your truck. Uh, it's. It gathers up fast, it's amazing. Like I just cleaned my truck. And then one morning I wake up and I'm like, where did all of this dust come from? It's not even hair. It's not even dog hair, it's dust. He like collects, he's a magnet for dust. And then he comes into the truck and he waits till he's in the truck of course to shake. And then it goes everywhere and it gets stuck to everything. Like dust is sticky. It's all over my dash, all over my cupboards. I gotta wipe it all down again. Ah! Ugh. I'm gonna get you, man. I'm gonna get you. You think you're fast? You think you're, you think you're fast? Is that fun, Diesel? Is that fun? So while I'm stopped for the night or for my reset, this is how I have it set up. I got my bed there. Top bed is folded up there. Got my computer here I'm using as a TV and as a editing tool, obviously. And I put all my stuff up on the driver's seat here. So I just have all the room in the back to myself. And then I go in and out the passenger door. Ooh. It's the next morning. I had a great day yesterday, or today for you. <laughs> it was a good day. Uh, like I said, we did absolutely nothing. Uh, we didn't film too much. We relaxed, got all our work done, we got all caught up. I feel good about that. Me and Diesel went on a few runs. Yeah, we were actually running. Hey, Diesel. Oh, it was fun. Oh, look at his tail wag. Oh, you had fun, didn't you? I, I, I didn't really have anything to show you throughout the day 
So this vlog will sort of be more of like a little update. Uh, this was my day off. Tomorrow, we start our deliveries. I think we have something like nine, nine or 10 deliveries on this load, starting here in Tilbury, Ontario, and ending off in Nova Scotia. So it'll, uh, it'll take a while to get it all delivered. It's a load that I gotta do a lot of physical work on, so I'll be able to get some exercise, which is nice, which these loads are kind of a pain when you, when, when you think of them or when you see them show up in your computer, you're like, oh man. But once you actually get them all unloaded and after every delivery, you actually feel really good about yourself that you got some physical activity in, which is strange. Everybody hates exercising, right? Even the, the athletes and the people who do it constantly. Exercising isn't fun. It's the feeling you get afterwards that's addicting. If I was home every day, if I ever had a job where I was home every day, I would definitely get into a regular exercise schedule just to get that feeling. And to stay in shape and live longer, obviously. But we'll see what the future brings. I don't plan on changing what I'm doing for, well, ever at this point. But like I've said in the past, you never know. When children come along, marriage comes along, maybe things will change. I can't, I can't tell the future. I don't know how I'll feel. I don't know if I'll want to miss my kids growing up. And my truck is shutting itself off. That means I've been talking for too long. Okay. So we're on our way towards the foreign country. I mean, the 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 place in Canada called Toronto and its surrounding countries. I mean, the the surrounding towns and cities around the Toronto area. We're on our way through there. Right away. We're just we're just we're all going past Woodstock right now. I think. We gotta go up to Innisfil, Ontario. Once we deliver one piece into Innisfil, I gotta turn around and come all the way back down to Kitchener. There I'm gonna be doing some load swapping and switching some of my freight around with another driver and then adding some more freight onto here. It's very confusing, very confusing. I won't boggle your minds with it, but we're going back to Kitchener anyways, and then we're headed up to Quebec and towards Nova Scotia. So uh, there'll be a lot of running around today. Not quite sure exactly what's going on, but I know enough to get it done, you know what I mean? <laughs> Let's just focus on getting through Toronto alive first, all right? You know, I've got to hand it to my fellow Canadian drivers up here. Over the past few days of driving around Ontario here, I have not seen one semi-truck, 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 parked outside the lines at a truck stop. Either they've all been watching my videos and they're starting to take the time to park straight. Or I'm just having a lucky week. I shouldn't generalize it, but I know in the past I've say, said Canadians don't know how to park. I've, I've assumed that everybody sort of knows what I'm talking about, that some Canadians, some Canadians don't know how to park. Like I know how to park straight and I'm not the only one. Plenty of other drivers that can park their truck between the lines. But I think I, I addressed it when I was in BC. It seems that there's certain drivers that uh, are new to driving and maybe haven't been taught by their trainer properly. Maybe they didn't even have a trainer. Maybe their trainer doesn't know how to park. I don't know, but there's a bunch of people that just pull into a truck stop. It's, it's more in the West, because in the East here, the East has a lot more money. They put pavement down at their truck stops and lines and stuff. You know, they got, they're milking the West, so they have all of our money out here, and they're building very nice roads, highways, truck stops and stuff. Out in the West, all of our money gets transferred to the East, so we don't have as much money to spend on public services like that. So all of our rest areas, our truck stops, they're mostly gravel parking lots. So with gravel, it seems that some people don't take the effort to imagine that there was lines, you know, and park straight so that as many trucks can get in as possible. But, uh, yeah, I've had a very good week with parking so far. Everybody's parking straight, parking in the lines. Just wanted to make a, a note of that, because I know I've talked about it in the past. So I'm gonna make this a two-part vlog today, if that's all right with you. Too bad it's already done. I'm gonna add this part of my day onto uh, the vlog from yesterday. We didn't do anything yesterday, right? So you're watching this on Sunday. I didn't do absolutely anything. It was a great relaxing day. Watching some movies, I got caught up on all of my YouTube work and whatnot. It's 
a bunch of stuff I still got to do. I got to set up a new store and whatnot, but I'm not really in a big rush for that. Uh, I'm going to figure out how I want to do that. I want to sell merchandise again, but uh, I want to do it differently than before. <laughs> I was working with Spreadshirt before. And uh, I had disagreements. Oh, what are we doing here? What are we? Oh, our right lane is closing. Oh, how nice of them to put up signs like eighth of a mile before the lane actually closed. Anyways, okay. Did I miss the sign that was earlier than that? Why didn't they warn us that that was closing? Anyways. <coughs> totally forgot what I was talking about now. But oh yeah, the store. I would like to sell merchandise again, eventually. But a Spreadshirt and I, uh, I didn't like their business practices personally. Maybe I'll go back to them, maybe not, but not anytime soon. I'm gonna look into Teespring and possibly other uh, ways of creating stuff. So as I slowly get closer to Toronto here, closer and closer, I'm gonna end the vlog for Sunday. At least you got a little bit of uh, substance and a little bit more than just me walking around doing absolutely nothing yesterday. Uh, this vlog will continue tomorrow from in Toronto. Like I told you, we're going to be dropping off in Innisfil and then going back to Kitchener and then finding out what happens. So I'll leave you in suspense about what's going to happen because I don't even know what's going to happen right now. Uh, but thanks for watching today. Uh, sorry, it's a little bit of a unorthodox vlog, I guess you would say, but that's usually what happens when I take a day off. I can either not put up a vlog at all or I can sort of split up the next day so that there's some content for each day when you're not left with absolutely nothing. So this is what I decided to do this time. So I'll see you guys tomorrow, right here near Toronto. Well, that was an awkward vlog to edit. <laughs> sort of took a little bit from the one day, took a little bit from the next day. I hate doing that. But sometimes I just feel like that just sort of completes the vlog a little bit more. Like I said, a little bit more substance, I guess. And it's not just me sitting still in one spot. I, I hate vlogs like that when you're just in one room or one area the whole day. I like to move around a little bit more. Show something in the video, you know? But anyways, this is what it turned out to be. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, hit that thumbs up button for me. That would be amazing. If you haven't already, you can hit that subscribe button on the YouTube page to Trucker Josh Vlogs. I make a new video almost every single day. I'd love it if you join me. I'll see you guys tomorrow anytime after 4 a.m. Central Time.